Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to let's play Final Fantasy Tactics Advance on the Game Boy Advance. The last time, we took on the World Worm and some other stuff, and we did a whole bunch of dispatch missions, or at least we got them started, uh, the vast majority of which said, hey, we need you to kill 15 enemies, or something like that. So that works out pretty dang good. Uh, any new rumors? Probably not. But uh, yeah, we got a couple a couple actual missions to do, and then we got some other stuff to do. Uh, where is... Where is Mont Blanc's booty duty? They said a town, right? So I'm assuming she's got to show up around here somewhere. They did say a battle, and I didn't see her pop up on the, the screen here, so I don't know where they're at. Hmm. Where is Moogle Bride? Your town's broke. Oh, you know what? We might have to, like, leave the little square here and then they'll show up. Okay, so... These are all dispatches. Jag Dorsa, Babis. Okay, so we gotta get to Babis. That's our big thing there. And I kinda gotta avoid you guys while we're at it. Okay, where is... Unless you're, like, at the plains somewhere that I'm not aware of. I wish there was an easier way to look at... Hey, this is where the mission is, instead of just having to... Hope. Okay, Sienna, I'm not worried about you yet. I'll worry about you later. You're not over here with that guy, are you? Okay, for a second I thought it might be at, like, the very bottom or something. It might just be kind of hiding there, but... No such luck. You... Okay, I don't know where this Moogle Bride is, because you'd think she'd be, you know, in a town, since she's a town girl. Oh, I don't care about you yet. Her, draw, sleek up. I... You any, oh, you're over by the mat, material. Really. Okay. That's fine, I suppose. You're trying to screw with me here, aren't you? Uh, what are the laws here? Summon skills, hunt, and it's probably gonna be monsters. You know what? I'll take care of these guys and I'll be right back. Alrighty, nice easy Sienna. Four enemies out of the 15 that we need, so we're good to go there. Did not get any items or nothing? But you know what? I think I'll live. Uh, anyways, let's see. What is our... Broadswords, Techniques, Instruments. Okay, that's actually not too bad. We can get rid of those if we need to. Alright, Mont Blanc, let's see what your little bride's going to be about. And I'm pretty sure we might actually have to use Mont Blanc in the fight here. Uh, that's a lot of you guys there. Yeah, Mont Blanc is... Unfortunately... Yeah, he's kind of forced in here. Okay, anyways, let's see what you guys got, shall we? Darren, you are probably not the one that he's looking for. Steal and gunmanship, you're going to try to steal all my abilities. Luckily, your gun abilities are all close range, since you don't have a gun, which is great. You got a time mage there. Haste, slow. Geomancy, that's actually kind of a pain in the ass if he actually hits us with uh, any of his skills and then gets another turn. Luckily, he's slow, so we're not really too concerned about that. Not you. You. Yeah, return magic, that's not too bad. Fro uh, frog song, that's mildly irritating. You, you probably have quicken and stuff like that. Yeah, you have clicking, okay. Or basically clicking. Okay. And for you, Reeker. Are you the, uh... This might actually be the technical, like, girlfriend. I mean, because it could be a girl. I don't know. Shoot. I mean, I guess all the movies are supposedly male, but... I have no real way of knowing. So I'm not really sure here. Come on, come on. Buddy, you gotta be in the way for buddy. Actually, this actually works out pretty good, because, uh... What's his name is off on a mission. 
Let's see, it said rod swords, techniques, instruments. Okay, that's fair enough. Miss Mogami, I, I read your letter, Koopa. Okay, it is, sir. You fell for it, Koopa. Now you get a lesson in humanity from Clan Rose. Eh? Wait, so you don't want Mont Blanc's Koopa nuts? Sorry, Mont Blanc. You've been had. Oh, well. Anyway, let's go ahead and clock these chumps. Starting off with the basic bad breath on you. That way you can't do anything of the steal my ability variety. Yeah, goodbye. Actually, I actually used that on a sage in the previous uh, mission with the help of uh, Sienna or whatever. And it actually got all the status ailments except for Frog. Or most of the status ailments except for Frog. So it can. It can occasionally just say, hey, I don't feel like giving up this particular status ailment. Which is fine, I guess. And why are you... Okay, I was about to say, why are you not taking any damage from that? But I guess you have something that recovers your... Or not recovers. Makes you immune to your... What is it? Uh, it's a death, but that works out fine, I guess. Frog song, you. Yeah, we're just gonna frog everybody because that makes life easy. And let's try to remember not to use the. Uh. Vegas abilities there since they're text. And those are mildly forbidden at the moment. Let's see, that's gonna do 208. That'll do 100. Actually, you only have like 3 HP left. So. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We'll just go ahead and do a regular attack there, I suppose. And that's gonna heal you. Huh. Okay. How about you? Would Ultima Shot heal you too? Yes, that would. That would heal you for a lot. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and actually, you know what? Hey, not you. Since you're a frog, you'll take more damage. Yeah, way more damage. There you go. Good night, fried froggy. You put up a good fight, but you uh, croaked. Alright, Q-Lob. You are probably going to. I thought, I, thought he, I thought he was going to quicken either the, the knight or the uh, black mage there. But I guess if you want to attack somebody that can't be attacked, that works out too, I guess. Let's see, 133. Not quite enough to kill you. So let's go ahead and kill this guy instead. Might miss, though. Nope, we got it. Okay, perfect. And I think Diplars can actually equip either Broadsword or Knight Swords. So it's a good thing we have a spear, and that's not going to work to our disadvantage there. Now, as for you, what do we got? Uh, just Black Magic, huh? Do I have the... I don't have the robe to heal yourself with. Okay, that's kind of a shame. Unless it's on the fire or something like that. No? Or... Blizzard? No. Okay, so... We're just gonna have to do something like this. Uh, hmm. I gotta get you into a spot where you can actually attack somebody without, you know, having yourself attacked as well. Actually, you know what? Since you're the one dragging me into this, how about you attack your girlfriend over there? Yeah, okay. I, did, I figured that a 48% chance probably wouldn't hit too much. But uh, it never hurts to try, at least. All right, Reek. What are you gonna do here? You don't have you don't have ultimate charge, do you? No, you have the uh, rush or mob rush. I'm sorry. But either way, we we'll get a nice counter no matter what, and that should do a pretty good chunk of damage to you. Then again, you are a Moon Knight, so you have pretty good defenses. Actually, I'm curious. If I looked at your defenses, how good would they actually be? You've had 34 levels as a Moogle Knight. Yeah, really good defenses. Uh, I think the Opal Armor is something like 30 defense or 40 defense. But either way, that's still like 420 natural defense. And then it might give like 10 resistance. So yeah, really good resistances. I'm still not sure why they decided that uh, 
Mughals tend to have the pretty much best defenses in the game, but it works out, I guess. Okay, let's go ahead and get you over here behind him. And we should be a-okay to froggy you. There you go. You don't have any status protections, so you're going to go ahead and... Yeah, be a nice, easy target there, sir. Fantastic. You... Can you finish off this guy? No, probably not. But you can probably finish off your little froggy buddy over here. Yeah, more than enough. Oh, he didn't give a little uh, death animation. Or a little death thingy. Like, oh, you betrayed me, Kupo. Because that's usually what they do. But I guess not today, huh? Uh, let's see. Frog song with you. I think we frogged everybody but the red mage there. Yeah, this works out for me, I guess. Now, if I... Uh, it's not going to kill you just yet. Yeah, I guess we get a... Uh... No, we don't have enough ultimate shot. And Sidewinder is not going to do more damage to you because you're a frog, unfortunately. It'd be nice if it did, but that's not the way it works. Okay, we'll just go ahead and do damage to you, I guess. Yeah, it'd be nice if you got more damage from Sidewinder since they're technically out. But, then again, that would also... That would also... Uh, mean that you couldn't uh, attack them during damage to animal laws. So I guess it works out fine either way. You're one whole point of damage. Let's do it. And I guess Montblanc does not have his counter ability equipped. Eh. Who cares? Oh, I think I took it off when I was doing the grinding. That way, um, if an enemy actually attacked uh, one of my characters, then I wouldn't have to worry about accidentally killing them with a counter-attack, and I think that was my reasoning. Because I wanted to use them for experience, obviously. But if I accidentally countered them with that, then the battle would have been over. Okay, one of you is still alive. That would be you, q -Log. I was kind of hoping that would be the the leader. That way, Mob Blanc would have the revenge of killing the person that tried to lure him into a trap out here. But, no such luck. They actually didn't say anything. Usually they say something like, Oh, you you beat our dastardly plans or whatever. Alright, Moogle Bride cleared. We got an Esteroth. What the heck is an Esteroth? Stands. I like yelling. You guys all got stuff very good. I have no idea what the heck an Esteroth is. Like, at all. Gunner with nothing that I care about. Yeah, still, see, even just a basic gunner still has reasonably good defensive stats for whatever reason. Like, those are really nice uh, defenses. Heck, better than his offenses, that's for sure. But, yeah, we don't need another gunner. Sorry, bud. Okay, so with Babis, and that's going to be techniques, instruments, and morphs. Uh, that should be fine, actually. But first, let's go ahead and give you... I'm going to give you the Orc or Calcum right now, since I don't think there's anything else you actually need. Yeah, let's just give you the Orc Calcum right there. And that'll be fine for attack powers at the moment. Uh, you, we're going to give you something... Something good. That'll give you the Mithril, the Templar combo, right? Yeah, let's just go ahead and get the Templar combo out of the way. That way it's there. There you go. Plus it gives you the extra the extra jump. It's a jump move, I forget. But either way, whatever, we'll live. And you You still don't have your 
Yeah, we still don't have your, uh... Mithril item either, do we? No, we don't. But I think that's pretty much all we need for you, is the Mithril. We have, we have Aphonia, we have Last Breath, we have Rock Seal, we have Nightmare. We have Oblivion, I think, right? Yes, okay. Ultimate Mastery, obviously have that. Egg. I don't think we might not have egg. Earth Great Bow. Let me see here. Oh, okay, we do have it. Okay. Never mind. I was mistaken. Let's see. Egg. Shadow Bind. That inflicts stop. We don't have it. Okay, good. It's either stop or slow. Yeah, okay. Stops target by pinning shadow to the ground. Okay, so we it is wind elemental, so that kind of sucks for that. But other than that, it would give pretty good... Uh, pretty good range. And you know what? You don't have steel helm either. You're getting that right now. Before I forget again. I don't know how you guys never actually got steel helm, but... Okay, whatever. Anyways, let's go ahead and... Techniques, Instruments, Morphs, R6. We have a fresh new R6 law. You know, it'll be fine. With Bevis. We're gonna get Mute's teddy bear back, and he'll be all happy. This doesn't look anything like the palace that we fought the queen in. Like, not even close. Say, Bevis, what is it that Mute forgot anyways? Well, what? Is something wrong? I feel a strong force, magical and violent. Is that Queen Remedy? It kind of looks like her, actually. Your Majesty, it is her. Okay. What are you doing here, Bevis? Looking for something the Prince lost. Poor child, devoting herself to a dream. Mute has long forgotten that you ever existed. I wonder if the ending means that uh, Mute got sent home and can't come back here, but everyone else can, or something like that. Huh. I have no idea. But I still follow Prince Mute. I will always be loyal. Please, do not stop me from doing my sworn duty. And if I stop you? Do not. You would raise the sword against me, your queen? I have no qualms about fighting you. You are a ghost, the real queen left for the prince. Oh, okay, so... Then again, she was always kind of a fake queen, since she was just a product of the grimoire that brought us here. Seriously, you're only going to have two float eyes in battle here? Uh, let's see, we got... Hormeds or Horm Hormez? Stare Devil Gaze. That's not something that I remember being able to learn, so I'm just gonna ignore that. And Messiness. Try to see if these guys have any like significance in their names. I don't think they do. All right, uh, let's see you. Roulette Circle Weapon Attack Plus. Yeah, even if they do get lucky with Roulette, I'm not gonna bother. Uh, Remedy. I don't know if you have the same abilities that you had in the final battle, but that'd be pretty awesome if you did. You still got ridiculously high stats, except for, uh, speed. I, I'm not, I, I don't know if she can actually change the law again at will, because previously, in the previous battle, she could change the law at will, and that was just something that we just didn't get a chance to see, but it is possible. Doesn't, doesn't have any stats or items or... or she has a, doesn't have any moves or items or abilities or equipment, so there's that. Uh, Babis, though, is joining us for the fight here, and he has his own special class, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he has the Rune Seeker class, which, again, actually not too terribly slow, like, not really fast, but not, like, really slow. And as you can see, excellent HP and MP there, or actually mainly MP. Excellent magic power of weapon attack, and let's see, explode... That's basically like a, 
I think I kind of like Meteor or something like that, or Flare. Stillness for Stop, and that's actually Stop and AoE, so that's really nice. Uh, quarter, obviously, to be Counter, Weapon Defense Plus, really nice. And it's an expert job class of his, good stuff right there. Yeah, Babis is pretty cool. Uh, he's probably not going to get too many turns due to the fact that, uh, well, he's reasonably slow, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Uh, what are the laws again? Techniques. Okay, that's actually really easy to get around. Uh... Mop Block, you're going to make yourself useful in this fight. You're going to go ahead and help with the, uh, the totems. Gelda. Okay, Mac, you'll also do a ton of and yeah, go you. Oh, I guess that's all we need. Okay. Fair enough. Let's do it. And all we gotta do is defeat her, so, so it's fine. Yeah, I, t I it's been a long time since I beat the game. Um, well, besides, like, the last time I beat the game, you know, like, a few episodes ago. But I had completely forgotten that, uh, I'd either forgotten, or I just didn't realize that you could... Uh, fight Queen Remedy again. I'm gonna guess that she is largely immune to status ailments, because otherwise that would make this ridiculously easy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Totem, uh, and that should do a good chunk of damage to at least her little cronies. And I'm not sure how much damage it will do to her. Hopefully... Hopefully about 100 or 200. I, I kind of want her to get a few turns to actually do something. That actually would be nice. So I'm going to let uh, Monk Monk do his attack. And that only did 30. That did barely anything. I was going to say I was going to let Monk Monk do his attack too. But, well, apparently this is going to be much easier than I thought. Uh, let's see, how much will Ultima do to you, lady? Or actually you guys either. That 140 to you. That heals you. She must be. She probably absorbs holy. That probably does not work out well for me. Um, yeah, let's just start with a sidewinder on you, I guess. It's not going to kill you, unfortunately, but yeah, it's good enough. And I think uh, Mont Blanc's totem would be enough to wipe these guys out. Yeah, right. Mont Blanc, you're not going to get your turn just yet. Kinda, like I said, I'm still surprised that uh, Buddy Boy did such a low damage on his attack there. I'm pretty sure if Roulette hits her... Well, actually, she's not Dark Element. I was going to say, if it hits her, it would probably full heal. But if it hits her, it would probably just miss. Thank you for knocking yourself out. I do appreciate that. That's just, like, excellent of you there. Fantastic. You know how to you know how to make me happy there, buddy. Totem, uh, there we go. And Babis should hopefully get a chance to use one of his abilities, which would be... Really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this. You've already seen it. Set, set, fight. How come that did way more damage? Is it based on your magic stat? I have no idea. I don't think it. I don't think it is. But that's kind of odd. That base. Do your thing, pal. And it's not gonna hit. That's kind of boo boo. So you could have used your other abilities that would actually, you know, be nice. Oh well. But I think she's actually going to get a turn to do something, so that helps. And yeah, your HP is still rather high, but you didn't actually do anything there. Okay, fair enough. I guess she just had... Well, actually, I don't get to guess, but she does have really good defenses, so that's not going to uh, make it easy to kill her here. And I think this bow is going to screw me over because of her, yeah, being healed there. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do a totem or anything because that would just straight up heal her. So I guess we're just going to have to do stuff like Thundaga. 
We're still gonna get it. Okay, that does do damage. It doesn't have a great chance to hit. But it will hurt her. And I think that'll actually do the most damage that we've done so far to her. We actually do go through our HP reasonably fast. And yeah, look at that damage that she's doing. Ooh, that kind of hurt. Ow. Uh, Babis, feel free to do something useful this turn instead of, the uh, Quarter or Demi or whatever the heck you were trying to do last time. Or you can just not do anything at all. That works, too, I guess. Eh, Babis, what do you do to me? Why do you do this? Okay, 59. Um... What would Chocobo Rush do, actually? That would actually do slightly more damage. That's kind of weird. Eh, screw it. We're just gonna go ahead and regular attack her. Because I don't feel like dealing with the uh, animation there. Uh, unless she's able to, like, teleport out, she might be kind of stuck there and not be able to do anything right now. But again, I might kind of be in the mood to move out of her way, so there's that as well. Got North of Dogus, since that's actually doing a good chunk of damage to her. Plus, it looks nice because it's all powerful. Yeah. Nice and crispy. And Marsh, you're still not able to do anything. I'd rather just not heal her. Babis, feel free to do something this turn. You have infinite MP, pretty much. So, do something. Anything. I guess you didn't want to damage uh, Mont Blanc. But, Babis, you have stuff besides torture. Feel free to use those abilities. I guess not. Come on, Black, you're gonna have to heal yourself at some point, because... Yeah, you're kind of hurting there. She does ridiculous amounts of damage. Uh, like I said, in the in the final battle, she did have an ability that could just change the laws to any random law. I don't think... I, I don't think she chose the laws. I think it just randomly changed them. But I'm kind of surprised she's not using those here, because that would actually be... reasonably effective at kind of neutering our ability to do stuff. Uh, can I do anything with, like, aim vitals on you or no? It might inflict a random something or other, but it'd be a very low chance. So, like, it might inflict, like, a blind or something like that, but, yeah, just not a very good chance to hit, I guess. I'm assuming that she has the same resistance to all the magics here. No? Oh, we're doing slightly more damage with uh, the thunder spells because we have the thunder rod. Okay, that's probably what, that's probably what I'm missing there. And I'm pretty sure she has more than a more than a three tile movement speeds range, so she'll be able to hit us or come after us if she feels like it. But Actually, I just realized she might kill our Moogle if... Oh, there we go. There's our fire damage. Okay, so it is like a fire elemental version of Flare. Actually, there are some games where Flare actually is fire ele elemental damage. I don't think this is one of them, though. Did we actually kill her? Hey, Babbage, we actually did something. There we go. Cool. Got a killing blow. She did a lot of damage, but other than that, she wasn't real all that tough. Oh, she turned it. She turned into Mute's teddy bear. A stuffed bear. This is what Mute forgot. So I guess when he came over here, his teddy bear like was the conduit to making his uh, mother real, and they turned into her his mom. I guess this bear. This is proof that Mute was in that this. This proof that Mute was in this world. It's all you have to remember him by, isn't it? Are you going to bring that back to his palace room? Of course. This belongs to the prince. You know, Babis, I've been thinking. Maybe we could, you know, be friends. Friends? You? Friends with me? Yeah, I mean, we had our troubles in the past, but why not? Yes, I see no reason to object. 
and Babis wants to join us as a rune seeker. Uh, the only thing about Babis is I'm pretty sure that he cannot change jobs. Actually, can he? That might be in Final Fantasy Tactics Advance too. Actually, he might. I don't know. If if he can change jobs, that'll be awesome. But if not, he might be kind of stuck here as a rune seeker. And so he'd have he'd have good stats. He wouldn't be able to earn anything else. I think. Yeah, we'll see. I guess. And that settles it, friends. As far as I know, there's no other like abilities that he learns for Rune Seeker from items. I could be wrong, and I'll check out that out in between episodes. But I'm pretty sure that's wrong, friends. But not close, friends. Farewell. Yay, we got Babis in our party, which is awesome. Yeah, we got a stuffed bear. Actually, I never did check what that other item did, did I? Okay, gun crazy. Yeah, okay, we got the. Bind Snipe in the Maximilian. Very nice. Uh, I don't need either of those. Who are you? Zoink. Zoinks? No. Sorry, bud. Okay, so let me see. If I can change his class, that'd actually be really good for getting him into... Yeah, he's stuck as a Rune Seeker. So, it's nice, but... Well, can't do anything else. Um, yeah, there's nothing else we can actually give him to, like, learn, unfortunately. So that means he can't do any combos or anything like that. He can equip items, that's nice. He has that. Uh, let's see, we can actually give him a reasonably powerful, like, mace or whatever. That would actually give him good stats. Let's see, 420, 413... So we could give him good, like, abilities for the most part. That gives excellent physical attack, which is really nice. Uh, Life Crozier... I'm not sure what the best, uh, mace is, actually. Holy. Which is nice. Actually, we probably want to give him something that enhances firepower, now that I think about it. If we could. Because that would, that would enhance his, uh... That would enhance his his flare thing there. Okay, do any of these actually teach anything? I don't think they do. Okay, we'll just give him the cactus stick for purposes, I guess. Uh, I'll worry about other stuff there. Um, wait, I did want to I did want to check those items there. Whatever that they were, because we got the the snipe shot thingy, which obviously is a gun, and then we got the teddy bear and the whatever that gem was, blind snipe, okay, 47 attack power, 8 panel range, so yeah, still pretty good range, arbalest, which we already had, mithril brand, which we already had, reverie shield, that's nice. Good resistance. Uh, let's see, anything else here? Minus. Where are these other items? They might just be like, uh... Actually, they might be something like, uh, mission items, now that I think about it. Yeah, they probably are. Nope. 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 Yeah, I don't want to link. I, I, can't, I can't link, because I'm on an emulator. Uh... Leave. Yeah, we can't do anything with that, because even if I was playing on a legitimate copy, um, there's nobody nearby to link to. It's kind of unfortunate, but oh well. Heck, even when I had the game back when it came out, a lot of my friends didn't have a, the game or the a Game Boy Advance to do it. Esteroth. Only three of these gems are known to exist. Ooh, excellent. Look at that. Let's look at those uh, stat boosts right there. And, ooh, I'm a Meister. Cool. Fragment of the Memories Mute Left Behind. Found it a teddy bear from Mute's mother. I don't think that actually does anything, but... Oh, well. Anyways, we took care of a bunch of uh, missions. Next episode, we're going to head back to town and well, do more stuff. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.